I felt like something else to share in this podcast is that like I've written a lot of secular music, mm -hmm. even sexual music, kind of the stuff that you would imagine any pop artist in America would release. But yeah. there's been a few times where I've written songs that have felt like they were from God. Like mm -hmm. one time I wrote a song called Not That Far Away, which was essentially saying like our place in paradise is not that far away. Wow. And to my surprise, it got pro like programmed in Walgreens in America wow. and still is. Wow. And so my mom one time was shopping in Walgreens and heard it and started crying and ran to the cashier and Aww. was like, that's my song. <laughs> but for the longest time, that song was the <clears throat> only song that was generating me any money on my um, PRO, like I'm wow. with CSAC. Uh -huh. So in, for the longest time, it was just generating me money. And I was like, that's such a surprise, you know? Wow. And it's like, that to me was kind of one of those kind of God signals where God was like, I will reward you if you write music that's good, you mm -hmm. know? And then mm -hmm. I had a song that I wrote during the pandemic with a girl from American Idol called Faith. And mm -hmm. the lyrics were like, you know, the world's ending, but don't let it shake your faith, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that song generated the most money I've ever made on a song before wow. in in-store radio play. Wow. Where I was like, whoa, there's a second experience where God's like saying, write music like this, Davis, I will reward you. And wow. then I wrote a song, last, the last like faith-based song I can remember writing was just flat out saying, tell me why you made me. It was like my plea to ask God, like, what's my purpose here yeah. on earth? Why did you make me? And then out of the nowhere, it shot up on my Spotify as one of my most listened to songs wow. with zero promotion. I never put it in a playlist. I never paid for it to get playlisted at all. Wow. And it just shot up and it still sits right now in my top 10. And I'm like, wow. that's just a surprise for me. But it also to me can be a signal. Like God's like, keep, keep doing this, Davis. Mm -hmm. Like I will reward you if you keep writing music that has this kind of purpose because people want to hear it. Yeah. And there's, you know, and that was when I started off writing music out. And I, I often pray this to God. I'm like, use me as a vessel to point to you mm -hmm. or use me in some way like a Bible character. Like, what is my purpose, God? Like, but mm -hmm. use me. Because I feel mm -hmm. like the Bible was, it's, it was stopped written, but we're still part of the story. And mm -hmm. even though the Bible is not being written anymore, we can still be part of the story. Totally, you know? totally.